Hello. If everyone would please take their seats. Thank you. Before we begin, I just wanted to ask if you have anything that makes noise or beeps, please silent that at, at this time. And also at the very end of the service, um, just after I pronounce uh, Sam and Molly, husband and wife, I'm going to ask that everyone stay seated. We're going to have an aerial drone in the area taking an aerial photograph. So at that point, if you want to turn and wave, uh, of course you can do that, but please remain seated.
Please be seated. Thank you for being here today and for sharing in this moment with Sam and Molly, the moment when their two lives become one and they begin their great adventure together. Two nerds walk into a bar <laughs> and without anyone realizing it, the universe became a little more whole. Human nature was originally one, and we were whole, and the desire and pursuit of the whole is called love, and love finds a way. Without even realizing it, Sam and Molly's first chance meeting began a new page in what would become their love story, an action-packed packed adventure destined to become a box office hit. It might even make it to the Omnimax Theater at the St. Louis Science Center. I'll bet there's a scene where they outrun a T-Rex. Sam and Molly, for the past five years, the two of you have shared your joy of travel, Star Wars, dinosaurs, and all things adventure. And this shared joy has helped you to build the foundation of what today becomes your marriage to each other. Marriage is a team that faces and conquers problems together, each person with their own strengths to contribute. The two of you embody something that each needs, and because of this, you complete each other. Each of you helps the other to become the best version of themselves that they can possibly be. Sam and Molly have chosen to honor their Irish heritage with a hand fasting ceremony, one of the oldest known marriage ceremonies uh, traditions. Hand fasting belongs to the ancient Celts who used the ceremony as a sort of mandatory waiting period before the couple was officially married. Today it is used in Celtic Irish wedding ceremonies as a symbolic binding of the couple's hands that is literally a way to tie the knot. The first promise. Sam, will you be Molly's faithful partner for life? I will. Molly, will you be Sam's faithful partner for life? I will. Will each of you be each other's constant friends and one true love? We, we will. will. And so the first binding is made. Sam, do you promise to love Molly without reservation? I will. Molly, do you promise to love Sam without reservation? I will. Will both of you stand by one another in sickness and in health, in plenty and in want? We, we will. will. And so the second binding is made. The third promise. Sam, will you stand together with Molly during times of joy and sorrow? I will. Molly, will you stand together with Sam during times of joy and sorrow? I will. Will each of you share each other's burdens so that your spirits may grow in this union? We will. And so the third binding is made. The fourth promise. Sam, will you promise always to be open and honest with Molly for as long as you both shall live? I will. Molly, will you promise always to be open and honest with Sam for as long as you both shall live? I will. Will you dream together to create new realities and hopes for this marriage? We, we will. And so the fourth binding is made. The fifth promise. Sam, will you strive to understand Molly, giving her comfort when she seeks it from you? I will. Molly, will you strive to understand Sam, giving him comfort when he seeks it from you? I will. Will you both promise to love, to honor and to listen as each of you shares your thoughts, your hopes, your fears, and your dreams. We, we will. will. And so the fifth binding is made. The sixth promise. Sam, do you promise to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your lives together and to give to Molly all the loving support she needs to become the person she is destined to be? I do. Molly, do you promise to share the responsibility for growth and enrichment of your lives together 
and to give to Sam all the loving support he needs to become the person he is destined to be? I do. Do you both promise to stand by each other's side forevermore and to seek to cherish and strengthen the brightness and potential in each other? We do. And so the sixth binding is made. The seventh promise. Sam, do you welcome Molly as your wife, offering her your love and encouragement, your trust and respect as together you create your future? I do. Molly, do you welcome Sam as your husband, offering him your love and encouragement, your trust and respect as together you create your future? I do. Do you promise to accept each other as you are, sharing and supporting each other through the experiences of your lives, be they easy or difficult, happy or sad, challenging or mundane, till death do you part? We do. And so the seventh binding is made. Sam and Molly, as your hands are bound together now, so your lives and spirits are joined in a union of love and trust. The bond of marriage is not formed by these cords, but rather by the vows you have made. For always you hold in your hands the fate of this union. Above you are the stars and below you is the earth. Like stars, your love should be a constant source of light and like earth, a firm foundation from which to grow. May these hands be blessed this day. May they always hold each other. May they have the strength to hang on during the storms of stress and the dark of disillusionment. May they remain tender and gentle as they nurture each other in their wondrous love. May they build a relationship founded in love and rich in caring. May these hands be healer, protector, shelter, and guide for each other. Molly and Sam have chosen to honor their Northern European Viking heritage with an exchange of swords with their wedding rings. A Viking bride and groom would present one another with a sword as a symbol of their promise to carry on the ancestral bloodlines and to protect and guard the family home. Sam carries his naval officer sword, while Molly carries a traditional Latin Celtic short sword. I will now ask you to seal your, the vows you share with each other by the giving and receiving of the swords and rings. By presenting a sword, you promise to fight for one another, defend your union from adversity, and to protect your household in all your days. The perfect circle of the ring symbolizes eternity. The precious metal came from the ground as a rough ore and was heated and purified, shaped and polished. Something beautiful was made from something raw. Love is like that. It comes from humble beginnings made by imperfect beings. It is the process of making something beautiful where there was once nothing at all. Chris, please present Sam his sword and Molly's ring. For Molly, my chosen partner, true love, best friend and confidant, I promise to retrieve your dreams with you. I promise to trust you and be your partner in all our endeavors. I promise to love your nerdiness and always find you adorkable. I promise to hold you up when you are down. I promise to keep my faith in our marriage even in our dark hours. I promise to be your sword in the darkness and the shield that guards our realm. Bunga bunga. For Sam, my chosen partner, true love, best friend, and confidant, I promise to stand by you and encourage you as you work to accomplish your hopes and dreams in this world. And as your wife, one of my biggest dreams is that you achieve yours. I promise to be your teammate for life, taking on challenges and opportunities together with you for us. I promise to love you for what we have in common, to love what makes us different, 
and to remember that both our commonalities and differences are what make us a better team. I promise that whenever you face hardship, sorrow, or strife, that I will be fighting those enemies by your side with every strength I have. I promise to listen to you, to learn from you, to have faith in your love and patience for me as I grow together with you. I promise to choose, love, and cherish the entirety of who you are, who you have been, and who you are yet to be. From this day forward, may each of you see your own experiences in a new light as together your life unfolds. I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Sam and Molly Gearling. Everybody look that way. <laughs> See that little black thing flying in the air? That's what we're looking at for the picture here. <laughs> Joe, when you're finished, give us a thumbs up. Thank you. 